What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, just another Poketuber, coach of the Piedmont Triad Kickers, coming at you today with the week five of the BHDL. We are taking on Beardu, also known as Beardu. Um, he's the coach of the Atekama Taranatas. And we don't get to play them that, that, that often. We haven't played them since season two. And even then, we didn't even play them because we were scheduled to. We played them because we just so happened to meet in playoffs. So this is our first official, like, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, um, in-season game, I guess? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. In-season game, yes. Let's use that term. Even if it's not a term, we're going to use it today, right? So Beardu's team consists of Iron Shreds, Azumarill, Ogre Pond Wellspring, Yuxi, Hatterene, Kilowatcher, who's his Terra captain, who can also Terra into flying, what is it, flying, flying ice and ground. We have Salamence, we have Muck, who can Terra into water, dark, or flying. We have the Chiyu, and then we have Mr. Viz, who can Terra into uh, steel, fairy, and electric. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, to combat this First of all, this is like one of the best teams in the league, in my opinion, like in, re in regards to like how it was built, in regards to what it can offer, in regards to what it can have. And you know, to combat this team, I decided that first and foremost, I needed to bring this guy. We're bringing our boy, Cannon Bolt the Fortress this week, who's rocking his heavy duty boots, sturdy ability, max HP, four attack EVs, max defense, relaxed nature with Rapid Spin, Heavy Slam, Stealth, Rock, and Body Press. So we're not running Volt Switch this week for the simple fact that he does have a Volt Absorb Kilowattrel, who could theoretically, who theoretically, and I do mean theoretically, have Volt Absorb. So if we Volt Switch on the Volt Absorb, yeah, y'all get the idea. And I'm already not, you know, I want to make this game to where we're not trying to think too hard about whether or not we want to click things. It's just a straightforward, yes, we click it, yes, we don't. So, yeah, I just took the Volt Switch out because I don't want to be stuck in a, in, a, in a thing where I'm trying to debate. Do I want to Volt Switch now? Do I want to Volt? Because it, the thing is, if I have Fortress in front of this thing, there's really much I can do to kill a watcher to kill it. So, it's kind of just... Yeah, we don't want to get stuck like that. So we're kind of trying to be careful about Fortress too, because it can, because of Sturdy, if we have our Sturdy intact, let's say everyone be wanting to you, right? We kill it with Body Press. If he wants to set hazards, we can rapid spin them away. We have Heavy Slam over Gyro Ball, because Heavy Slam is primarily going to be hitting um, Azumarill and Hatterene, who ain't, well, aren't. Whatever word you want to use that's grammatically correct, they, they're, you know, the speed difference is not that much, especially in particular with Hatterene. So Heavy Slam, you know, is going to do a significant amount more damage than um, Gyro Ball would to those two. Um, I originally did kind of want to have Gyro Ball for like a dragon dancing, um, what's that thing called? Salamence. But, you know, um, yeah, we're going to play with fire in case it, you know. May, hopefully we don't regret not bringing Gyro Ball. And then we have Stealth Rocks because, you know, we can set hazards, it'll be great. Next on the team sheet this week, we have the one, the only, the myth, the legend, the Flygon. He is rocking his... So, okay, okay, I just realized I haven't updated this all the way. So I actually made a last minute change. It says Lumberry because originally I was running this set with Outrage and I was going to just, you know, out in particular just so I could hit um, Yuxi and uh, Ogre Pond a lot harder than just you hitting him with a dragon claw. Hopefully I don't come to regret this, but we decided to run Life Orb over Lumberry, so forget, let's pretend it does not say Lumberry right there, let's pretend it says Life Orb. We have the ability, Levitate, we don't touch the ground, that's how we do. Terra Electric this week with 4 HP EVs, 252 attack, 252 speed with adamant nature, because we want to hit as hard as we freaking can, baby. We have Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Terra Blast, and Dragon Dance. So. If we still had Outrage, theoretically we could one-shot Ogre Pond and we could definitely kill a ship, a ship Yuxi. Since we have Dragon Claw over Outrage, what this means is if Ogre Pond's in front of us, more than likely it lives unless we have rocks up, in, in which case, okay, now we can kill the thing. Or if Yuxi's in front of us, that thing better be really chip, otherwise we're not going to kill it. But I really needed the Life Orb for extra damage on particular Mons, in particular, because uh, for one, 
you know, I'm not going to get into it. We just need the extra damage, okay? So we have Earthquake for things like Shi Yu, Iron Treads, you know, the basics. Yano type type matchups. Then we have Terra Blast, particularly for Miss Azumarill, because we would like to really hit Miss Azumarill with this Terra Blast. Um, and then we have Dragon Dance, because once we go plus one, we pretty much outspeed everything on the team. Unless something is scarfed, in which case we're not going to outspeed it, obviously. But, you know, as long as we don't run into one of those type of scenarios, we should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. Hopefully we'll be fine. But anyway, next on to the next, on to the next Pokemon, we have the one, the only, the Thunderous, who's rocking his heavy-duty boost this week with Prankster, 76 HP EVs, 180 special attack, 252 speed, 10 miniature Thunderbolt, Sludge Waves, Grass Knot, and Nasty Plot. Basically, I just ran enough um, EVs in his special attack that at plus two, he pretty much just kills everything. And actually, there's a lot of things he can just kill at just neutral as well. Um, the only thing that could really get in the way with this set is like a Volt Absorb, um, what do you call that Pokemon? Um, Kilowattro. But my opponent also has Muck, who can definitely sponge hits from us. So, um, you know, those two Pokemon in particular can kind of like dampen our parade a little bit. But outside of that, once we Nasty Plot, we just kill stuff. Um, at plus two, we should be able to kill Iron Treads. And if we're not plus two, we should at least be able to two-shot it, as long as it's not AV. Sludge Bomb for things like the um, Ogre Pond in particular. Pretty much anything that, that I can't hit with Thunderbolt, I wanna, I'm going to just Sludge Bomb it. And if I can't Sludge Bomb it or Thunderbolt it, i.e. the Iron Treads, hey, we're going to Grass Knot that thing, you feel me? So, yep, we're Timid Nature, we're Prankster Ability, um, we're already faster than most of the team, so, I, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know, in regards to Nasty Plotting. And also, another reason I have Thunderous here is because Yuxi... I've noticed my, you know, in case my opponent has T-waving Yuxi to, like, slow down, like, I don't know, my Cinderace, or I know last time we played I had a Trailblazing Urshifu, so, you know, in case they try to bring T-wave as a way to, for speed control, I have Thunderous here, you know, so you can switch in on potential T-waves and stuff like that, but yeah, that's our boy Thunderous. Next on the team sheet, we have the one, the only, our Chow Yu Don, the stapler, who's rocking his Salic Berry. Max HP, 146 special attack, 110 speed, Timonature with Endure, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, and Body Press. So, the thought behind this set is Chi Yu obliterates me, melts me into the ground. Like, you'll never think that this thing was a dragon after Chi Yu gets done with it. Um, Kilowattro, oh uh, yeah, Terra Blast Ground just blows me. And I'm pretty confident they're bringing Terra Ground, by the way. I don't see why Terra, um, I don't see why Terra Ice would come, because it doesn't really help too much with, like, Cinderace, for example. And I don't see, what is the other Terra? Terra Flying? Doesn't really help too much with the Archive Dawn. So, yeah, um, pretty sure Terra Ground is coming. Um, so we're rocking Salic Berry with Endure, Flash Cannon, Draco, Draco Meteor, and Body Burst. The reason being, Chiyu melts us, Kilowattro makes the ground explode under our feet and just sends us into the stratosphere. Um, Hatter, you know, let's say he's a trick rooming Hatterene, I don't know, with like Calm Mind and Life, well, you know, like, you know, like, you know, it's just different scenarios where things just, okay, I don't know why I brought up Hatterene, but what I'm trying to get at is there's a lot of things, okay. Draco metering, uh, Salamence, Earth Power, Iron Treads. What I'm trying to get is at what I'm trying to get at is there's a lot of Pokemon on this team that outspeeds me and just straight up kills me. And then I will just run A V. Kind of some guy probably think why not just run A V. Well in most of these situations I still get two shot it. And then on top of that um, in she use case, even with the AV on and with all the investment in the world, that thing can still just melt me through the A V, which you know, kind of defeats the purpose of wearing the AV if we die with the AV on anyway, don't you think? So, we're rocking Salad Berry, so in case he does knock us down and activates the berry, we can just outspeed whatever's in front of us. And, well, if it's Kilowattro, we can kill it with Draco Meteor. If it's GU, we can kill it with Body Press. Flash Cannon is just a chip things, and if we can get a cheeky Spadef drop, why not? And 
yeah, that's pretty much the whole thought. Any, I mean, Salamence, obviously, we Draco that thing as well. Um, what other Pokemon is it? So, Salamence, Draco, Kilowattro, Draco, um, Iron Treads, Body Press, Chiyu, Body Press. Y'all get the idea. Flash Can is primarily here to ship things. Yeah, I think I explained the set as well as I could. So, yeah, that's our Chiyodon. Next on the team, we have, and I mean, he had to come back. You had to come back around round two. We have Urshifu Rapid Strike Choice Scarf with the Unseen Fist ability. It's the only ability as far as I know. Four HP EVs, 252 attack, 252 speed, adamant nature with surging strikes, ice punch, poison jab, and U-turn. We're rocking the Choice Scarf because, well, only a handful, actually, I don't think handful is the proper term for it. Very few mods on this team actually want to switch into a certain strikes. Outside of Intimidating, Salamence, Water Absorb, Ogre Pond, and then of course you have the um, Azumarill who just resists both our stabs. Outside of those three Pokemon in particular, nothing on this team wants to switch into it. Wants to switch in, let alone take a certain strikes. So we're rocking Choice Scarf because we just want to click the button. And then the things that we can't hit with certain strikes, well, we can Ice Punch the Salamence, Poison Jab, either Ogre Pond or uh, Azumarill. But sometimes we can do with Ogre Pond, it's just you turn and shit because Poison Jab does not kill it. Okay, let me get one thing straight. Between Azumarill and Ogre Pond, either one of them gets one shot by Poison Jab. We definitely have to chip them first. But, you know, we're still trying to put things in our favor. That's all that matters. And then you turn just to pivot, and in particular to hit the Uxi, who could be very annoying, to be honest, this game plays out. My opponent likes to bring Uxi. Pretty good using Uxi. Uxi. But I, I'm not going to deny Uxi is annoying. So, yeah. And then next on the team sheet, the one, the only, the last slot is being taken up by none other than the team mascot himself, Cinderace, who... Okay, let me get one thing straight with you guys. Um, so, Soul... The, Cinder the shiny Cinderace I've been using all this time, the one that I caught, when well I caught, I hatched him like a little bit before the Season 2 BHDL Finals. So yeah, you know, he's came with me to a Season 2 Finals. He came to me to a TAL Finals, the one draft league I won. He recently came with me to the SDA Finals. And you know, it's been, you know, it's been brought to my attention by management that maybe it's just time to let good old soul retire. So, starting this week, we're bringing our other shiny Cinderace that we recently caught, whose name is Carrot. So, just know going forward, we're going to see Carrot Souls retiring. You know, he's a draft, you know, he's a Piedmont Triad Kicker Hall of Famer, three finals, one of which we won. You know, you can't ask for more than that. We appreciate you, Soul. You know, hopefully, Carrot can fill your shoes, quite literally, because we're rocking heavy duty boost this week with the Libero ability 72 HP. 252 attack, 184 speed, Jolly Nature with Powerball, Gunk Shot, U-Turn, and Flame Charge. So the Flame Charge is here in case, like, so if something is chipped enough that we can kill it with Flame Charge and go plus one, we're just going to do that. Because between Powerball and Gunk Shot, we hit the entire team with the ex... Actually, there's no exceptions. We, hit, we literally hit the entire team between Powerball and Gunk Shot. And for the most part, we just kill things. The exceptions to what I just said is, so... Chiyu, unless it takes rocks damage, does not die to a gunk shot. Albeit, if we just raw gunk shot it, it does take a significant amount of damage. And I do mean significant. Basically, it lives on 2 HP, which is some crap. But you know it is what it is. We need them rocks up. We have Powerball. Oh, I forgot. Gunk shot also kills the Ogre Bond in one shot. It kills the Azumarill in one go. It kills the Hatterene in one go. Powerball, we can kill Iron Treads in one shot. We can kill Kilowattro in one shot. The only Pokemon we cannot one shot on this team with Cinderace would be Salamence, Yuxi, Muck, and... Um, well, Mr. Viz, because a Violite just boosts its defenses enough that we can't kill it. I don't think Mr. Viz is coming, though, but, you know, you know let, let me include her in this equation, because we don't one-shot a Mr. Viz if it has a Violite. Without the Violite, she's going right back to her Pokeball first class. But, y'all get the idea. Six out of ten Pokemon we can one-shot. So, we can Flame Charge. That'd be great. We'll outspeed everything that is not, if, assuming they're not scarfed, and for the most part, we can just one shot everything that is not the four aforementioned Pokemon. And yeah, that's the team this week. Hopefully, Carrot has a, you know, hopefully you have a good debut. Don't miss no moves, okay? But anyway, without a further ado, guys, let's get into the battle. Good luck, have fun to the homie Beardu. Hopefully, this battle is a banger. Okay, so he brought Kilowattrel. Salamence, 
Chiyu, Azumaru, Yuxi, and Muk. Let me make sure I get this put down. Wait, so, oh, no iron treads. There's no iron treads. Uh, so basically, we got four out of five of these mods, right? So we need to Well now Okay, this is what we're gonna do. If he leads Killer Watcher, that could really suck. Uh so actually, since he You know what? We're just gonna lead Cinderace and take it from there. Good luck, have fun to the homie Viridu, also known as Viridu. Cause if he leads Killer Watcher, that could suck. If he leads Yuxi, we just U-turn. If he leads Azu, we just go Archaidon. If we can get rocks up, they if I'm not mistaken, they just stay up. Okay, so we didn't screw up with the whatchamacallit play, so we're going to just U-turn into Thunderous here, in case he has T-Wave or whatever. So from the looks of it, after we, if we can beat Azumarill and Salamence, we should be looking good against the rest of the team with, um, what's the homie's name? Um... Urshifu. Or if we can get uh if we can ship this thing and then get Flygon set up, same thing. So he's staying in. So this thing is probably more so physically bulky. So we're gonna go into you in case they want to you turn two. Maybe going Archidon would have been good too, but at the same time, in case he T way, you know that could have been a free turn to the you know nasty plot. But since Ogre Pond isn't here and Treads isn't here, this guy kind of. My guy kinda doesn't have the same value he would have. Uh, so this is Muck. This is Muck. This is Muck. Do we want to play the mess around and find out game with Muck? Because what's the safest thing for us to do right here? Flying, dark, and water. And if he has knockoff, that could suck. Um, okay. Let's nasty plot the scout. Because he could have knockoff, toxic. He's using curse. Okay. Now, where have I seen this set before? Is T bolt. So we do have. That's gonna hurt. Please don't poison us though. Um, one of two things can happen here. If the killer watcher is volt absorb, it just comes in right now and takes this, or. Because if he let his muck die, I would like to believe he doesn't let it die right now. Because, I mean, if not Kilowattro, what can really switch into a T-Wave, to a Thunderbolt? It's really just Kilowattro, right? So, 
You know what? I'm just T bolt again. And if he goes Killer Watcher, I'm gonna just go into um Archidon. Maybe I should have sludge bombed anyway. But at the same time, in case he just doesn't care about this muck. Thought, okay. Sludge bomb might have been the better play, but you know, that ain't what I click. That's not what I click. So he's Volt Absorb. Nice to know. I should've just went for the Sludge Bomb. It was kinda just obvious. But um Muck is chip though. So let's go into you. Cause he probably just Volt Switches here. Cause if he is Terra Ground, he's not gonna hit us with it this turn. Cause we are flying. Dang, the AC came on and it got like kind of chilly. So, uh, you know, I thought this would be one of those games where I could keep the hood off. Uh, I don't know. Got... Woo! Got chilly in here, man. Chilly in the room, but I'm hot under this hoodie, I swear to you. Just because it's, you know, it's going to be one of them games. So let's see what happens. I would just realize I changed my outfit just because me and him have been wearing the same outfits and he didn't change this outfit too. It's crazy. So hopefully he volt switches. Are you Terra Ground? I'm about to get a when I say I'm about to get wiped off the map. So yeah, this is where we try our Endure stuff, because if he Terra Blasts me, cool. Mercedes? Who's that? Oh, you. Uh... So... Can we lower his spadef? If Flash Cannon did that much... Okay. Even though I feel like he's about to drain punch me, let's... Flash cannon again. And I did. Yeah, it didn't really do much. I don't want to Draco too early, so let's just go for another flash cannon. Oh yeah, he dies to the next flash cannon, I think. Uh, now we, you know what, honestly, we just drop a Draco right here. Should have just flash cannoned. 
but okay. Our Chaidon picks up the first kill. Who's gonna come next? I'm gonna go into my guy again. Maybe I should have kept the stapler in, but we're not really touching this thing right now, so I decided to go into my guy. He's one of those. Let's go back into the stapler. Now that I think about it, I wonder if Kilo was choice lock. Raymundo. Him? Is he Dragon Dance? Because if he is, we have a problem. If we, uh... Roberto. So he knows not to hit me like crazy hard, I think, at this point. Maybe. But now we have a chance to finally chip this thing. And that's a chance I'm not passing up on. This is gonna hurt. Actually, it just straight up kills. I don't know if it's banded or not, because we're not, like, defensive. But... Sheesh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is the play. We go into you. This should, it's Elizabeth coming in, so we're gonna chip Elizabeth. Maybe we should have went for the grass knot. I don't know how much I would have done. But just in... I mean, he's going to just volt switch here. There's kind of no reason not to. So we're going to so we're gonna have to lose Thunderous right here. But right now, uh, Azu is chipped. This thing is chipped. Yuxi is chipped. We just haven't chipped Salamence and Chiyu yet. But I really feel like after one Dragon Dance, everything should be in range. Of course, that happens. So not only do we have to compete with the hacks, we have to compete. Here's the thing though, if I lose Cannon Bolt, I have no Azu switch in, so I need to go into one of you guys. Uh... <sighs> so... Okay.
Uh, let's see. But we just gotta go for it. So now we have a little aerial battle going on. So who's coming in? Renato. And let me just see. From here, how hard do we hit uh, Yitzi? There's the slightest of chances we can kill, and we just have to go for it. We just have to go for it. And now he's gonna just yawn us. <sighs> Crap. I think I know what's coming next. He just U turns out into, um. Probably gonna just U turn out into Azumaru. Now this is risky. Hopefully he doesn't go for a psychic, but this is very risky. So he has Yawn, Encore, U-Turn, and one other move. Yeah, I really felt like that was coming. Here's the question, are you, if he's not scarfed too, then we killed it. Yep, yep, he's scarfed too, yep, 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 yep. This just got ridiculously tough. So most likely Chi Yu isn't scarfed, but dude, we still have to... Ooh, this is not looking good at all. Um, dude, the only thing we can do now is just a U turn out into U turn out into our guy Fortress. Yeah, this is tough. Rapid spin, body press, heavy slam. Um, it's too dangerous to put flag on in there. So I think the best thing we can do is just go into cannon bolt and set rocks. Because now that we're electric, I mean, you know, Azu's 
Aqua Jet is only going to hit but so hard now. I think, I think what? Well, electricity resists water. I could be tripping about that. I could be wrong about that dynamic. So he's special. Mm. Hey, that one, that play just now, hey, you know, it's one of those, it is what it is plays. Um, so he's special. Oh, this just got really hard. So if he has Hurricane and Earthquake, he probably has Draco as his last move, if I had to take a guess. Um, so, this just got stupid hard. So basically, if we don't kill him with Dragunk Shot, he we, we lose, and if he kills if he kills us with Earthquake, we just lose, because I'm pretty sure he's, um, he has Draco, which is going to just clap our guy, and Carrot, this is your debut, can you please hit a Gunk Shot? Please, 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 please hit a Gunk Shot. You already making your predecessor look, you know, okay. But he has Draco, and the issue with Draco is we're not gonna live a Draco. Wait. Wait, 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 uh, because if I kill him, who comes in after me? Here's the thing, what if Chiyu is Scarfed? I mean, uh, Sashed. That's, that's going to suck. Um, and even then, we need to, we need to Dragon Dance twice to outspeed the whatchamacallit, so, uh... You know what, how much does Carrot really love me? Not enough. I'm kind of okay with this. Because it... What's the last move, though? Is it Dragon Dance as well, or what? Like... Okay. This is the freest turn I'll ever get to Dragon Dance. And, um... If Chi is focused, Sash, I'm pretty sure we just lose. And I just and I must say the the, the focus uh, the choice scarf um what do you call that Pokemon? The choice scarfed um Kilowattro was an amazing brain. Cause like I know the last time we played I had a trailblazing Urshifu. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say about that one. If you know, you know. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're here. We're here. If Chi here's the thing though, we still have to beat the freaking um we have to avoid getting flinched by the thing as well. Even though it's not gonna do as much damage because we resist, it's still gonna be annoying to be flinched over and over again, but let's see what happens. Okay. We just have to avoid getting flinched. Why did that do so much freaking damage? And when we... Ah, the life orb is going to be the death of us. Because Azu definitely has Aqua Jet. Okay, this is going to be... Yeah, we're, there's no way. There's no way. Him being choice scarfed, uh, Kilowattra was such a great brain. That did so much damage, bro. Roberto. Yeah, they have Aqua Jet. That's going to definitely kill us from right here. There's no way we live it. Anyway, uh, GG's beer, dude. It was a fun one. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace out.